So hi, this is Daniel here for our last dispatch from the jumping spider hunt. Uh, we're on a beautiful North Padre Island here in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, close to Corpus Christi, Texas. And uh, yeah, so since the last dispatch, uh, we've made our way along the Rio Grande. Uh, first stopping in Del Rio, Texas, which has uh, Lake Amistad next to it, uh, where we found uh, Hibernatus cicadus in a rock quarry. Uh, these are spiders that are pretty common throughout the US, uh, but uh, this is the first time we've seen them on our trip. So that was cool. We went further down uh, along the Rio Grande southwards to Falcon Lake, which is a lake that is uh, it's relatively big. It's a really popular fishing area between the US and Mexico. And uh, we stayed there for a couple nights. That was a really uh, diverse habitat. Uh, or there were a bunch of diverse habitats. There was a really uh, ar uh, arid, uh, dry forest with uh, thorny bushes mostly, and uh, then there were open meadows that were partly flooded when they were uh, close to the, to the lake shore. And uh, we found uh, Hebrides phallax in those thorny bushes. That was uh, well, <laughs> that was not a very fun uh, site to explore because uh, it was just really sweltering hot. There was no air movement. It was really thorny. We were crawling around on our knees. It's also the first time in this trip that we had problems with mosquitoes. Really fun. Uh, then, uh, but on the on the lake shore, that was a lot more uh, pleasurable to work there. Uh, uh, interestingly, like the, those uh, lakes were partially uh, su submerged in, in lake water. They had really uh, high water this year. And uh, this is the first time that I've seen jumping spiders uh, close to water like that. So we, we found them making their nests and just an inch above the water surface on plants in there. And uh, yeah. Uh, after Falcon Lake, we uh, went on to the very southern tip of Texas to the Benson Rio Grande State Park. That is a, a, a real blink of world hotspot for bird watching in this area. However, we, we didn't see all that many birds because it was really hot and humid and uh, the birds kind of took a break while we were out <laughs> hunting for spiders in, the, in that heat. And again, we found Habernatus phallax. Uh, kind of a, a cool species, really well adapted to this uh, leaf litter on the ground uh, in these uh, dry tropical forests such as that are uh, common along the Rio Grande. Biggest mosquito density we've encountered so far, that was really fun. Um, but uh, we were rewarded here with this last uh, field site uh, on Padre Island for which we kind of have to give uh, some thanks to Thomas Cheyan who noted on uh, the website bugguide.com that he found Habernatus Mataxis uh, on the dunes of this, uh, of this island and we thought that, well, that should be interesting and we'll, we'll check it out. It would be a good uh, field site to uh, mark the end of our trip here. And uh, yep, we, we drove up here, uh, Corpus Christi, Gulf of Mexico. And uh, without even looking, we found uh, the first Habernatus metaxis here. Uh, since then, we've been exploring these dunes that are just right behind me. And um, they're relatively common in here. There are these, uh, some of these plants here are so-called uh, railroad vines. And uh, they, they have these, um, these long stems that are just flat uh, on the sand. And it seems like that uh, our jumping spiders and uh, other um, other bugs just really use those almost like railroad tracks walking along those so that's where we found most of them. Uh, we are on a campsite that's right behind the camera where Sebastian is standing right now uh, but we did camp on the beach uh, and uh, our tents got uh, pretty much almost claimed by the Gulf of Mexico the first night uh, when we underestimated the tides along with uh, a bunch of other campers at 4.30 a.m. Uh, then yeah, so uh, we just finished our last collecting round. Uh, we, uh, we got about 20 Habernatus metaxis here in the dunes. We're ready to fly home to Pittsburgh tomorrow and start the lab part of, of our project. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be characterizing courtship, we'll be analyzing uh, the huge amount of, of, of habitat data that we collected during this trip, so the spectral measurements, the video data and so on. Uh, we'll be investigating eye physiology of the different species we have and the coloration of uh, adult males as well. So we got our work cut out for us once we come home. And uh, so, so yeah, with that I would really like to give another thank you to our backers uh, that uh, really contributed uh, a lot to making this trip possible. And uh, we can't wait to share our new results with, uh, with you once, once we have something to show. 
And uh, yeah, with that for uh, for Nate and Sebastian and uh, myself, well, thanks and goodbye. And we hope you enjoyed these videos. Uh, we enjoyed making them, so thanks for watching them. Bye.